Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I've got two replays in the Hesh Monster that is the tier 8 Swedish medium tank, the Draugen. Now this is a tank that I do love, it's been on the channel quite a few times, it's going to be on the channel a few more times after this. It's great. And the one thing that makes this tank great is the Hesh rounds. The 210 Hesh, the 210 pen Hesh rounds are splendid. They are amazing and you can do so much with them you, like you hurt people so so much and I think it's the fact that you're penning people with Hesh is probably satisfying as well like when you pen someone with it and you see it flash up for like nearly 500 and you're in a medium tank it's just glorious so right now we're on Muravanka and I'm looking at all the tanks in front of me oh, it, the matchmaking is horrific it, it's really bad tier 10 I'm looking at all the tanks in front of me and going I can pen pretty much everything here with Hesh it's going in I think this game was before I loaded full Hesh on it well full Hesh with one in the chamber and that is a full Hesh loadout but with one APCR for that moment that you really need to kill something that you can't pen with Hesh and that's the way we run it so we're just on this ridge line looking for shots at people. Being a little bit aggressive sat on top of that ridge line because that can come back to bite you in the ass at time to time because there can be TDs sat back at like K7, K8 and that can be dangerous. So what I am doing right now is a very dangerous thing to be doing. But look at that pen, 545 five, damages the Amorak of the Leopard 1. Sweet. Oh, it's delightful. And we're coming against this leopard because it's like this is a guaranteed pen unless obviously I hit the tracks, which could have happened with the auto aim, but we hit him penning for four six two. And we're just gonna keep coming over and harassing because he's harassing our chisel. And well he gets shut down by the T57 heavy. So we're going for the C fifty M now. We can pen him in the lower plate. I wish. Eighty one damage. I think the lower plate of an E fifty M is a bit of a stretch. It can pen it, but sometimes it will not pen and you'll get that where I just splash the tracks for like 81 and we chose to shoot the SU 130PM because it was a guaranteed pen right the E50M gets shut down we're getting that aim shot straight in 469 damage as well that's quite nice and the FV4005 is another one that is a juicy target and it's like okay let me shoot you please don't shoot me and we get slapped by the SU 130PM that's back there, but we get a nice shot into that FV 4005. And just how quick the damage gets racked up with the Hesh, we're already up to 3.3k damage. Like, it's great. And I'm sat back here being a little bit less aggressive, because I know where that SU is, and that guy, that other medium in front of me, was determined on pulling forward, so I knew we'd spot him up at some point, and I'd just be ready to shut it down. And we're seeing if we can get any shots across on their hill now see if we can get any damage we can't quite feather a shot on the chisel so we're going to pull forward now and just go for their well just push forward for that hill we've got to be careful because there could be something shooting from the back but we now know where three of them are at least so there's a bit, little bit less of a threat towards making this aggressive push across because usually by the time we've won the forest and we're making this push across, there's still quite a bit left because quite a few of their tanks went through the flank. But our team has dealt with them quite well, so we've got rid of them. And as we're looking for the shot on this machine, <laughs> the Tiger 2 says, Get down, Mr. President! And takes the hit. And it's like, okay, then I'll finish you off, Mr. Tiger 2. And unless he sets us on fire, he ain't going to do much to us. But luckily, he gets shut down by the Udez, and we pop a nice shot into the back of the machine, set him on fire, and we're just looking to pick up the kill on him. Hopefully, he won't get shut down. It's looking like we're going to do it, and we do. We get the nice shut down into the machine. And there's only one tank left, and it's a Draugen just over there. So hopefully, we'll get a nice shot at him, because we should be able to see him if he pokes up any further. The shell, luckily, that was a feather shot. Thank you, RNG. That shell hit him for 237 but that's hit the turret on the dragon which has auto ricochet angles so sometimes it just won't pen and we did 200 damage 
but we'll take that. That was a nice result for a heavily bottom tier matchup on Moravanka with the Dragon, and that was 5k damage, 1000 assistance, 15 shots, 5, 13 hits, 13 pens. It's good going, 2.2k base nearly. And that's just what this Draugen can do, really, with the Hesh. It, it can be so filthy. It is great. You just need the gun to behave every so often. And sometimes the gun doesn't behave because it's got 0.36 accuracy, which is on the high... Which is ending up going up to that higher say, stage of the accuracies and stuff. But for the most part, it's alright. And when it behaves, it's juicy. Especially when the Hesh behaves. Because sometimes Hesh hits things and it just goes... You know what? I'm not going to pen that. I'm just going to like not do anything at all. So we're on to the next game and we're on Kunas. And it's very good matchmaking. Very much top tier, which is very nice. And if we could do that in the previous, t previous game at tier 10, we're surely going to be able to do something good in this tier 8 game. So what, what we're doing is we're loading the Hesh off the bat and we're going to go to a position that I like to use a lot because you get good shots out, you get good vision and that is the little area at around D4 ish and it means you can get good vision across the north and you also, if you just turn slightly right you get good shots right so this little gap here is a good spot things like Arietta will spot me if I crest and obviously I left my auto drive on like an absolute muppet and that meant that I went straight over the top of it so don't do that but generally if you go to that position you can just get over the top I would have got a nice shot at that Ariete and I would have been able to pull back but I would have spotted everybody that I spotted there and sometimes that if especially if you've got the team in the right spot right you can get a hell of a lot of assisted from that so we've already picked up 370 for spotting some of those which is nice like I say, is if you do overextend, you can come to this position I'm in now. Which can be a bit risky, because it's a little bit aggressive, and you can be shot in the butt at, from time to time. But if you manage to get left alone in it, you can really put out the hurt and do some serious damage. So we're trying to get a shot at this other dragon. Lovely shot through his turret with Hesh for 507. Oh, I do love the Hesh. It's so, so juicy when it hits in. So we're just poking out again to see if we can get shots at. And as he get, tries to run away, we get a lovely shot straight through him for 476 and finish him off. We spotted this Yatsi that was up here, which we aren't going to pen like that. He is hull down. We're not penning that. Take the shot anyway, but we've probably splashed him for about 100, if that. Then the 1815 gets spotted, and we can pen that Capola with the Hesh. It's got to hit the Capola, though, and we only damage him for 40 damage which is unfortunate again we're just gonna poke out we're nearly aimed well nearly loaded and that one flies straight through 532 lovely now if I was playing a bit smarter I could be waiting for my spot to go because I wouldn't get hit by the charioteer that is set up there if I was unspotted I mean he could take a blind shot to at the possibility or the risk that I did poke out but with me poking out while still spotted, that definitely gave him shots at me and free chance to pop shots in. So this this vengeance over here, and it's like, right, I'm not letting you live, boy. And with Hesh, we can truly wreck him. But we've got to hit him. And this is where the snapping ability of it sometimes lets you down. Because we are playing chicken with the vengeance, basically. And luckily for us, he misses one, so we pop a nice shot into him for a 482. Now, he does have a better reload than me, but he can't push me He can't push me aggressively because of the guys behind me. So I'm kind of safe. Plus, if I stay hauled down like that, where you don't even see my turret, there are auto ricochet angles, like you saw in the last game where I didn't pen the other dragon with Hesh, that he could bounce on. So he's determined. He's like, I'm coming after this guy now. And it's like, no, mate. No, we're not doing this. Get out of the game. And, of course, it's like, no. I'm not getting out of the game. Because you missed me. Uh -huh. 
course, typically it went into his tracks, which meant that he survived, but we didn't take any damage for it, so that's the main thing. We're going to try and pop a shot into this ice 3 but unfortunately it hits the ridge line again. Bit unlucky, but it's a bit of a slim shot. We turn ourselves around so that we can just keep poking out and use this ridge line in front of us to narrow the target. Well, yeah, narrow the target that this guy's got at me. Now, with 210 pen Hesh, it's not always guaranteed we're going to pen the ice 3 on his pike nose because there's a lot of spells we can hit with it that just won't pen. But now the base is under threat, I'm going to head back and I'm going to try and help defend it. Now it's a long cap on Kunas, it's three minutes with one person in it. And with all three it's like just over a minute, so there's always enough time to get back. I'm going to get up behind this VK, give him a nice shot of Hesh Love into his bot for 471. He's going to be dead in a second. I just want to get rid of him so there's nothing like troubling us behind. And now we can move on. So the Patriot is the one that is in the cap. There's this Progetto here. We get lucky that he bounces, but we pen him for 5.69, which is absolute juicy roll. We're already up to 4.3k damage and 1200 assistance, but we're unspotted, so we're going to try and get a shot at this guy. But obviously, we've got Hesh. Destructible cover will take the Hesh. And not just that he is also hiding behind that building so he obligingly pulls out we get a nice shot into him for 545 I tell you the Hesh is a beautiful thing and we're just risking it now to finish him off and we get the nice finish there there's a risk that he could have shot me but I knew I could eat at least one of his shots so it was a risk that I was quite happy to take that Patriot is just sat in the cap but he's not looking at us Risky to go for that shot on the tracks, and yeah, I did. Only, I didn't pen him; only hit him for 68. It wasn't always guaranteed. I should have gone for the side of the turret, like you see me going for now, because that was the more likely shot to go in, and it does. 427. Why I shot the tracks, I don't know. The side is not always likely to go through. It, it's because it's hash, and it's well, it's high explosive. You know, if it hits a spot that's spaced armor, it will automatically just explode and won't pen. And that's something you risk when you load all hash is that you will have a lot of shots where you won't full pen that you might have done if you were firing APCR because I most definitely would have shot that Patriot and penned him with the APCR so I probably could have been another what three four hundred damage up but I wouldn't have finished him with the APCR anyway I, I was a guaranteed finish on him with the hash because of 480 alpha and he was on 427 so that's the good thing about Hesh. So I'm on 398, right? This Udez has 390. He's He could kill me at any point. So I'm like, right, you know what? I'm just going to rush. Luckily for me, he doesn't kill me. I set him on fire, but then he gets finished off. And we finished that game there. That Udez could have quite easily killed me then. 390. He could have high rolled enough, but he low rolled, luckily for me. And we finished that game with a high caliber ace tanker, confederate, and 6.3k damage in an absolutely beautiful tank the most fun thing going 2.6k base nearly Draugon Hash Monster it's a thing of beauty when it works it can be so so good and it's definitely one of my favourite tanks in the game Not doesn't quite pip the Ragnarok but it's definitely up there so as always everybody I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you all next time